long time since I've done a typerific video and you all have been asking me for a long time now if I would do another. So today we are doing another typerific video and it's going to be on the Kiersey analysis. So this kind of goes somewhat off of the Myers-Briggs stuff that I've talked about in the past, but I'm not really going to talk about how the letters come into play with the Kiersey analysis. I'm just going to talk about the four main components that you need to know about the Kiersey test. Kiersey basically organizes you into four different groups. Guardians, idealists, artisans, and rationals. How you decide which one you are is you have to take a look at your, the way you communicate and the way you take action. So starting with communication, you either have concrete communication or abstract communication. People who have concrete communication tend to communicate facts about their present day and the physical world. So whether it's sports, news, family, how their day was, facts and figures, work, school, things that are very external that involve the world around them. Most people are the concrete communicators. Abstract communicators tend to communicate things from the internal side. Topics that have to do with ideas, theories, dreams, philosophies, beliefs, and fantasy. And of course I'm aware that both people tend to have a little bit of overlapping and discuss both things on a somewhat regular basis. It's just if you're one or the other, you're going to regularly discuss the thing that defines you. So basically, concrete people discuss reality and abstract people discuss ideas. Okay, so the next part of this is how people take action. That is utilitarian versus cooperative. The utilitarian tends to look at the way they can take action the most effectively and the most efficiently. So they're go-getters, they're the active doing people who take life and they just do it as efficiently and quickly and try to get things done as quickly as possible or efficiently as possible. The cooperative takes things more from a social side where things like social rules and the way they keep themselves together really matter to them, so that is cooperative. Utilitarian people do what works and cooperative people do what's right. So to figure out your temperament, you need to decide if you communicate abstractly or concretely and if you take action in a utilitarian way or a cooperative way. And depending on which way you mix match them, you are going to get the different results of the idealist, the artesian, guardian, or rational. I actually already took the test on the site that I'm going to link down below and I tested as a guardian. But as I was reading through the description of The Guardian and The Idealist, I think I'm a perfect blend between the two because I just really didn't identify with everything that it had to say about The Guardian, but I did identify with a lot of it, whereas I also identified with a lot of The Idealist, so I like to say I'm an idealist guardian. And basically what it has to say about guardians is they are the type who are very loyal to their duties and responsibilities, they're very dependable, people know they can count on them, and they tend to lean towards the traditional side in life. Whereas the idealist is very focused on themselves and how they can grow themselves as a person as well as the people around them. They tend to make good counselors and they're very warm-hearted understanding and nice people. So I feel like I'm a mix between those two. I'm definitely not an artesian and I'm definitely not a rational. There's nothing wrong with either one of those. I just don't really identify with either. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about the Kiersey test today. If you want to take it down below, I will link in the description. And if you want to tell me in the comments which mix match of the ones you are, or if you think you're all of one or part of another or part of all of them, I don't know. I would love to hear your thoughts. Also, if you guys have any suggestions of something you would like me to talk about on Typerific, it's been a long time since I've done one of these and I'm very open to suggestions if you have a specific personality test you would like me to talk about or anything else feel free to ask me any questions below or give me any suggestions give this video a thumbs up it really helps the video and it helps me out you guys are so awesome I love you so much thank you for watching and I will see you soon with an all-new video here on my character channel bye good morning everyone I'm about to go hang out with Miss Evelina Berry herself uh, beta how do you feel about that